It's that time after Christmas, like after everybody is gone and you just had a bunch of chaos in the house. And no! Wow, look at that, you guys. We put him in cat gel, which is Katie's room. Get a little thing and then you craft your bite from here. <laughs> All right, it's finally time to at least start to tackle this. I am under a little bit of a time crunch, so I'm hoping to make this happen. Good morning, fam. I just woke up. If you can tell, I have a bit of a cold this morning. I am not so happy about it. I started getting the sniffles a few days ago, and I thought they were gone, and now all of a sudden it's moved down in my throat. So the first thing I did was I made some hot tea. You can see it's right there. I'm here by myself. Ryan went to school. Katie and Brendan are gone. I'm so sad. Oh, I miss them dearly. Um, Mike also left. He's in Maryland doing some work. So it's just me here today. Me and the kitties. Alice wanted to go outside, but she's not sure if she wants to go outside. So she's all leashed up. She meowed and meowed and meowed. And so I put her outside and now she's like, um, I'm not sure what I want to do. She's a little bit of a nervous kitty. Do you want to come in? You can come in. This one, however, Eddie definitely wants to go outside. I'm gonna let Alice for a little, hey, wait, let me see. Can I come in? Okay. Okay, there we go. All right, hold on. I gotta, I gotta unbuckle you. Here we go. There, now you can run around. Eddie, you wanna go out? Wanna go out, big boy? I bet you do. I'll give you this. You can ponder it for a bit. There's your little harness. You can ponder that for a bit. In the meantime, I'm doing laundry. You guys, it's that time after Christmas, like after everybody is gone and you just had a bunch of chaos in the house and a bunch of people and we had cousins staying. We had friends coming in from Maryland. We had Caden came in, Liam, Andrew, and then a bunch of Brendan's friends came over from a couple from West Palm. <clears throat> West Palm Beach, Florida, and then some locally. Anyway, it was mass chaos. Our cousins were here. Did I just mention that? So the, the my nieces and nephews were here. So it was mass chaos when we got home from the cruise, which when you get home from a vacation like that, anyway, you have a ton of laundry, and it's always like getting your house back in order, moving the Christmas tree, putting all the furniture back, putting the decorations back. It has been a cleanup effort. So right now I'm still in the process of doing laundry towels. As you can imagine, look at all these like beach towels and shower towels, and there's a whole nother one in there and a whole nother one in there. So I've done one, two, three, this will be four loads of towels, <coughs> pardon me, since everybody left. So I'm doing towels and I still have to put this Christmas tree away. This is the last bit of Christmas decoration from down here, other than you saw that little guy and i'll probably put that picture away too oh the weather outside is sunny and delightful that's sort of a tongue-in-cheek florida christmas sign i'm gonna put that away i'm not sure what i'm gonna replace that with this is also still out which i adore and i would love to keep that out but mike is not much on keeping things on counters but he's just so happy and sparkly and festive reminds me of the holidays but maybe i'll pull him out again for valentine's day so upstairs, this is what we've been working on. Oh, wow. See, look, at, there's my tree skirt, which P.S. Um, Eddie peed on several times, so I had to wash it, and now it's like the white part of it turned pink. I don't know. That's sort of a new thing for him. But anyway, he's, he's better now. He hasn't peed since we put that away. So I really think it was the Christmas tree for some reason. We've had a, a real Christmas tree for as long as... I can remember actually my whole life and Eddie has never really been around a fake Christmas tree other than the one downstairs so I don't know why he decided to pee all over but anyway um this is our new room I will cut over to Mike and I painting it Michael John making it happen wow look at that you guys such a oh my gosh my phone just ran out of juice and I take that back. It's not our new room. It's our new wall. We've had this room for a long time. We didn't just build this room, but we've decided to move the furniture. And I think so you saw in that film. So anyway, so we painted this before Mike left, <clears throat> but I'm waiting for him to come back because he's going to take care of putting like we have it hung on the wall. And, you know, those are kind of confusing those systems that are back there. So I'm going to have him move that over there and then we're going to paint behind there. So yeah, everything is sort of coming back together. Katie's room, yeah. 
I miss her. It's pretty well made up though. She has a few things still out, but um, Caden made her bed for her, which is really nice before we left. And then she cleaned all the other stuff up. Eddie likes to sleep here though. This is his spot. You can see his little indentation here and he likes to sleep right here. It's also um, known as cat gel when he meows in the middle of the night and <laughs> he's too loud. We put him in cat gel, which is Katie's room. And this is Ryan in the boys' room. I haven't even tackled this yet. Um, I, I think I think one of our friends, Andrew, left from Maryland, left his bathing suit here accidentally. Oh, gosh, look, there's even more towels. I just I can't get over how many towels. I feel like each time these guys take a shower or go to the pool, they get a new towel, which is so stupid. And then... There's Ryan stuff still, Cruz stuff still in there. So we have some, oh, <laughs> guess what? Oh my gosh, no, no! So that's what my day today is going to be. I'm going to um, first go for my walk, which I am back in the groove on doing, and I absolutely love it. I love my walks. And then I'm going to um, continue to do laundry, put up a video, I would really like to tackle this today, too. This might be a little more than I'm um, able to do today, but this is our storage room. <sighs> yeah. And I don't want it to look like this at all. Like, all that Christmas stuff should go. Mike said we can put it up there in the... There's, like, a little, you know, attic thingy that opens up, and we can, like stuff them up in there so I think we're going to do that with the Christmas stuff because I really want this to be a functional space that's supposed to be my office shelving unit and this is supposed to be like cat stuff and miscellaneous stuff and then my real goal you guys this is my real goal with this room because of the fact that the kitties are outdoor kitties and now they're indoor kitties and there's a little bit outdoor whatever whatever um, I would like to make this a little playroom for them. So I'd like to put shelves up here and like little like ropes and just like a little ropes course for the cats. I'm hoping, I'm hoping I can do that. So anyway, that's my goal for here. So stay tuned to find out. I got a lot of, a lot of things. First of all, I want to make sure that all of this is done before Mike gets back so we can hit the ground running on this. The, like all this has got to go. I still have to, I'm the um, edger. I still need to edge around here before he gets back. But anyway, I want to do a lot of things before he gets back and I only have a few days to do that. So I'm going to be working my buns off um, while trying to um, recover. But it's all good. It's all good. I love the excitement. I love the DIY-ness. I love the, like, it's, it's getting back to normal. Oh my gosh. We also want to paint this. Look what happened here. I had no idea that. What is that? Huh. Yeah, we'll be painting this hallway, but I'm not sure how we're going to get way up there. That is very tall. Makes me nervous. All right, so stay tuned, you guys. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're feeling well. I hope you don't have a cold. Oh, sadness. I'm going to get rid of that. Oh, okay. Anyway, stay tuned. Enjoy your Wednesday. Ryan? Uh, I'm gonna go out and play some golf real quick. Uh, sun's going down, and I didn't see I didn't see any golfers out there for a while, so I'm gonna go hit some. Fantastic. What were you upstairs doing? My permit test. Very so, good. Um, I got a section of it done, so I'm just gonna go hit some golf balls, come back, do some more. Okay. <sighs> Excellent. Enjoy. This is a benefit of living on a golf course. That's what I'm hey, I'm proud of you for doing the permit stuff. Thank you. Yeah. You getting close? Yes, ma'am. All right. Let's let's get you in a car, baby. <laughs> I hear Ryan coming back in. Look at that sunset behind you. It's like the world's on fire. How'd you do? Hey, well, uh, well. Hi. Very well. Welcome back. I didn't play the whole, I just... Kind of hit around. Okay. But yeah. All right. Very good. You guys, look at that. This is my view. Wait, I'm going to step away so you can't really see the screen, but this is my view each night. The sunset is beautiful. Now, the sun's setting over there now, but eventually, as it comes back closer to the summer, it'll set straight out here. So, so, so pretty. So for dinner, I'm making stuffed bell peppers in the Instapot, which is one of my favorite weeknight meals. Actually, I can make it on a Sunday too, but we usually do pasta on Sundays. But this is such an easy meal to make, <clears throat> and it is a huge, huge uh, favorite of my family. So it's just Ryan and I tonight though, So, but I'm gonna make four, so I'll have some leftovers. So I'm using four 
peppers. I have two yellow, I'm sorry, two orange, one yellow, and one red. <clears throat> also calls for breadsticks and cooked rice. And, can you see that? Sorry. Oh, cooked rice, tomatoes, and I use um, turkey instead of ground beef. I use ground turkey because that to me is, it, it's like a lighter flavor and I think it's healthier. I'm not sure it is, but I think it is. Anyway, that's what I use for my um, chili as well. So we like to have ground turkey. And then pepper and um, water and that's it. So I'm gonna mix all of this stuff together, put, put them in the peppers and then put the peppers in the Instapot and cook them for, I think it's about 20 minutes. It's really not that long at all. And then you can serve it with like noodles. You can serve it with a side of rice. You can serve it with bread. I have bread. I got good bread yesterday because we made grilled cheese sandwiches with homemade tomato soup. So I got this really good bread from the Publix Bakery. So we'll probably have that with a little bit of butter on the side and call it a dinner. This is one of my favorite little machines. This is an onion chopper. I never even knew they existed till like, I don't know, maybe a year ago when I bought it when we moved down here. I eat onions in my salad all the time and I hate chopping onions. I also hate chopping garlic, but I got a garlic chopper, which I'm gonna use in just a second as well, um, to chop the clove of garlic that's supposed to go in. Sounds like the stuffed peppers are ready. Look, oh my gosh, they look so good. There are two different schools of the way you eat a stuffed pepper. Mm -hmm. Ryan, would you like to share how you eat your stuffed pepper? Basically, you destroy this part, then you cut off the edges, and then you make your little thing, and then you craft your bite from here. <laughs> you keep your tower standing is it's, what you've uh, done. Yeah. Yeah, for as long as I can, for sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, on the other hand, cut it all up and make it into a stew. Right. That's how yeah. I've eaten mine. It's not a horrible tactic. No, but it tastes the same, I think, right? I don't know. I don't. I think mine's better. I think mine's better. All right. I'm okay. I'm glad you enjoyed it. All right, it's finally time to at least start to tackle this. This is our storage room, and it is making me sad. Mike, when he took down um, the Christmas decorations, just sort of put everything in here which is cool, so we could move the furniture and start to paint out there, but for me, I need to have it all organized, all in the bins, I need to consolidate the bins and everything so we can get, can get it moving. So my first order of business is to remove everything back out into the living room so we can get it all packed. And there's Edward <laughs> trying to get into the box for the Christmas tree. So he's kind of enjoying it. Keep going, buddy. I love it when he finds interesting things. And he pretty much finds everything to be interesting, which is good. It's going to take him a bit of time. Go. <laughs> Who needs to buy toys? Boxes are all they really need. Okay, now I just need to reorganize all of this. Most of it is okay. I just have some things I need to put away and I need to put away the tree from downstairs, which goes into one of these boxes and that big box over there. And I'd like to get this done by tonight because I have other projects to do when this is done. For example, when this is done, then I'm gonna paint and I want to get it all done before Mike gets back. 
So then I can have that room ready to go as well. And um, when he gets back, he can put the Christmas decorations up there. We can paint the wall. We can move the TV. I am under a little bit of a time crunch, so I'm hoping to make this happen. I made some pretty good progress up here, I don't mind telling you. So I cleared out that area, and I'm not, I don't know that we're gonna be able to fit those bins up there. I hope we can. Mike says he thinks we can, so hopefully that, that will all work. But anyway, anything that's here still needs to be worked on. Everything that's over here is good to go. And I did not label the clear bins because you can see what's in there, but I did label like the ones that are not clear. So when we go, we know exactly what, what we have. So this is a project. So I have like, this is outside stuff and Christmas tree. These are all my little um, village. These are pillows and inside decorations. That's nativity scene with um, some, uh, oh, with trees and garland. This is the big Christmas tree we had downstairs. So it's all labeled and everything sort of makes sense. So when, when you know, when you're going to, um, decorate the Christmas tree, then this is the bin you use. When you want to get the ornaments, this is the bin you use. When you have inside upstairs, this is the bin you use. It's kind of how I like to do it. Um, but before it was just sort of all put in the corner so we could start moving this room around. But anyway, um, that's that. I am going to wrap up and say goodnight to Ryan and then head to bed. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Hmm? It's fun getting stuff done. Good night, Katie. I called you Katie. I meant to call you Kitty. Good night, Kitty. I love you. Yeah. All right, it is, it is time to say good night. Ryan, can you explain what happened to your chin? Because I think we can see that. There you go. What is we, that? We were playing jackpot at the beach. Uh, Which for is a... Scott's birthday. This is you throw the football up and whoever gets it gets it. And uh, it gets physical because we play no rules. And uh, Trevor gave me this. You got a little, great. little sand burn? A little sand burn. Okay, is it hurt? We can recover. No, it's fine. Okay, good. It just looks weird. Well, it makes you look tough. Right. Yeah. But there it is. I mean, you are anyway, but that just adds to your toughness. Pretty much. Um, guys, want me to be happy today? Not going anywhere after school. Oh. I just got to sit down, do some homework, do some stuff. Got the golf. Well, I did go to the golf course, but I just sat, played chess, had a nice shower, had a nice dinner. Mm -hmm. uh, the Wizards won, so can't complain. Congratulations! Thank you. Because normally you'll either go to work, or you right, right you have some, or something. You have a tutor, or you'll have right. like um, Young Life. Not that any of those things are bad. It's just nice to be able to yeah. spend some alone time. Yeah. Understood. That's what you're Excellent. Oh, thank you for asking. Um, what made me happy today was my walk. I really, really enjoyed my walk. And I would say I got some good news today about our next vacation. Remember, um, we talk about vacationing ahead. And um, I'm always working on something. So I got some good news today that I will share with you very soon. That's actually, that's what made me happy today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to share the news with the fam club next week. And then we'll share it with you guys um, in one of the videos after that. We're going to have a live next week with the fam club. So if you're not a member of the fam club, please feel free to join. You can look at the link down below in our description box. And we, it's very fun. It, we, is, it is really fun. I love the live streams. Yeah, we do a live stream every, every month. So much fun. And um, we have conversations like on Discord back and forth. We um, chat back and forth about we've got a great football chat going on. And Ryan oftentimes I love jumps that. in on I those. Love, I'm the moderator for the football team. I love talking sports with you guys. That's right. And we have recipes. We share recipes. And we have Q&A sessions and everything. So it's really very fun. Right. But anyway, that's okay. If you don't want to, that's totally fine too. You'll just get information a little bit later when it uh, as it relates to 
like for example, what the good news was that I found out today about our mm -hmm. next trip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, excellent. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. Comment down below what made you guys happy today, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.